Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing magic and the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we are playing Mawu, Jiang Yangu and Mawu. So we are trying to get tons of counters onto this little doggo, the Hound. It has Trample and Vigilance 3-3. It is a legendary creature. If you put one plus one plus one, one or more plus one plus one counters will be put onto Mawu, that puts plus one more of those instead. So basically if we put a counter onto it, we get two counters instead. If we put three counters on it, we get four instead. So just plus one more but we have tons of ways to put one counter onto Maui over and over again with this deck with evolution stage whenever it proliferates so if it already has a counter it starts getting multiple counters if we get multiple of these out play lots of lands it gets tons we have Cranko on here just to be able to get some more value of the proliferate ability but then we have Domri's ambush to put counters onto Mawu we have Sony strength put counters onto Mawu uh, and then also just Jiang Yangu that can do it over and over again on its turn and also taps for more mana so we end up having actually a lot of mana in this deck uh, and not tons of huge payoffs because I wanted to make sure that we were we were kind of building more wide and really utilizing evolution stage getting of creatures on a battlefield so that we can get counters onto our creatures here uh so i decided to go ahead and bring out one finale of devastation make sure we can find our mawu which with trample and vigilance it's very good to hit with finale of devastation we also are ramping so much that sometimes we could get to that 10 uh that 10 spot just because we have our incubation druids with lots of ways to give them counters uh so we can end up having tons of mana by doing that then vivian's arc bow same same uh, same reason, because we have so much mana, we want to make sure we're getting our creatures out on the battlefield. Our Krenkos, Evolution Sages, those are our main payoffs here. Uh, and then we have Rhythm of Wilds to make sure that we're getting counters onto our creatures as well. Uh, we tested this out on the stream yesterday, and it did so well that I wanted to bring it out again and see how it goes again. And so let's, uh, we probably want to add actually one Carnage Shrine. We want um, one more payoff in the deck, I think is what we're looking for. And let's go down one... Um, let's go down one Vivian's Arc Bow. We probably ought to go down one Mawu, but that's what we want to have in here. So let's go down one Vivian's Arc Bow, see how it goes. And this is the deck, so let's go ahead and get into gameplay and see how it goes. Wish me luck. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. All right, up against Vindictus, bring it on. I'm pretty sure I played against this guy. I feel like now that I've played enough Magic on Arena that I run into a lot of the same people over and over again. Well, we have Rhythm of the Wild on turn two, which is phenomenal. And then uh, hopefully we find land for Mawu after that. We found land for Mawu. All righty, up against Gates. Uh, so let's see, let's see how this goes. It could not be Gates. All right, Paradise Druid. Paradise Druid would be pretty, pretty good in this deck too, but I'd really like the Incubation Druid with Rhythm of the Wild, with everything else. If we get multiple Rhythms out, we can Incubation Druid, put a counter, it has Haste, all of a sudden have three more mana. It's just so good. <laughs> oh, Gore Claw, that's, uh, that's bad. All right, um, let's get out. Do we want another Rhythm of the Wild here? They're going to get out some pretty big stuff, but another rhythm could be very good for us. Um, it's a little greedy, but I like greed sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and put uh, two counters onto our Llanowar Elves here. We have a 3-3 Llanowar. No big deal. So we can block the Gorkla. Actually, if it swings in, it gets uh, it becomes a 5-4. I always forget that. But yeah, so we can... Uh, we, we at least have a 3-3. There we go. Swings in. Yep. No blocks. Take our beats. Down to 13. All right, now we're going to need to make sure we use this Mawu correctly. So let's see here. We almost have enough mana to play the... We can play the Evolution Sage, but we won't be able to get the Proliferate with this. Uh, so we are going to play it, though. So, uh, Mawu. Actually, we don't have quite enough mana. That's fine. Uh, so we're going to put a counter onto it. And a, let's see here. And a counter. Let's bring out Llanowar. With a counter and counter. All right, well, we built a pretty big board. We do have a blocker for Gorklaw now with our 6-6. Six, six. 
Domri's Chaos Bring. All right, so next turn they can bring out a, a hasty Carnage Tyrant or something like that. We need to get our Mawu big enough to just kill them um, because we're not going to have that many more turns with this Rekindling Phoenix. And an Enrage Forerunner. They have more ramp. So, uh, all right, opponent's just ramping even faster than we are, and that's all sorts of bad. All right, Evolution Sage. Unfortunately, we don't have a land here. Let's put a counter. And, um, hmm. We can kill Domri, and that gets rid of the Enrage Ford Forerunner problem. Because they have six mana right now. If they have land, then they can play it. So if we can get rid of Domri, we at least don't have to die to that. So let's, let's give it haste. Um... So we can swing with Lanawar, Lanawar at Domri, Mawu forward. We're going to uh, use Stony Strength maybe here. Um, we really want to hold on to this Evolution Sage. They can double lock here to save Domri, uh, but then we get rid of a lot of creatures, which is our biggest issue. Let's... I don't want to lose Evolution Sage. That can grow... That can give us a lot more power. So let's go ahead and swing like that. I should just put another counter on. All right, so they're just letting everything through. All right, let's... Uh, Stony Strength onto Mawu. Get a couple more counters on. Okay, down to 12. Past the turn. And, uh... Let's see. End Race Forerunners does happen. Did they still have enough there? Oh, Goreclaw. I totally forgot about the Goreclaw. Saying good game here. Trample. Seven in the air. You can block there. Yeah, that's game. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's game. Oh, man. I forgot about Goreclaw. We, we had to have them block with Goreclaw. Uh, to, to have a shot there because they just were going too fast and so maybe I could have swung with evolution sage But I I think they were they were good there. We just didn't get enough damage right away uh, Maybe playing the second rhythm of the wild was a little bit painful there. We didn't get enough creatures on the battlefield quick enough uh, But yeah, that was good Ouroboros bring it on All right, we're gonna keep this looks like we have uh Incubation Druid with um, Jin Yangu, which is great, into Mawu. So we can play pretty much our entire hand in three turns. Uh, so let's see if we want to do that here. Yeah, this is a fantastic curve. This is exactly what we're looking for. The one issue is that we're going to want to put the counter onto Incubation Druid instead of Mawu right away. So we need, do need to make sure we can keep Yangu alive so we can actually put counters onto Mawu and start going off. And then if we can find a, an Evolution Sage into land, ooh, this will be this will be spot on. Hey, Hydro Kyle. <laughs> Hydro Kyle, that's it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for jumping on. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for jumping on here. All right, uh, well, we're going to see if opponent is actually playing Magic today. Yeah, I, 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 a lot of people always say they never catch me on. Yeah, I think that I, I might be doing my stream at the wrong time for other people. It just it works really well for me. Um, and so I, I will be probably changing up my schedule at some point here. Um, I was I was waiting until uh, my wife got a job because she was she had a couple interviews going on and uh, and things just haven't panned out with those ones or we have other ones that are pop popping up now. All right. Well, let's see if opponent's even playing here. But, um, anyway, yeah, so I was I kind of been waiting to see what her schedule is before I decide on anything else. Yeah, Path of Discovery is awesome. I love Path of Discovery. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's go Incubation Druid and pass the turn. Oh, I'll attack. So I've actually been seeing a lot of people playing Gruul, and I think that Gruul is rather competitive at the moment. It's it's so good. All right, um, ambush could be good here. Actually, do we have enough mana to make that work? 
All right, so let's see here. Yingu. Counter onto Incubation Druid. All right, so we can't play the Evolution Sage. I, I mean, I want to play Mao instead. We could play Evolution Sage and uh, Proliferate um, and grow Druid and Yangu, but I think that getting out the Mao is going to be better here. It gives us a pretty good chance of being able to actually uh, kill the Walker, unless they have Jay Lit Ranger here, which uh, then they'll have enough mana. They'll probably swing into Yangu. Yeah, they have it. They, of course, have everything. Boo. Another Wild Growth Walker. So, yeah, I'm guessing they kill Yangu there. Yeah. Uh, we can still kill it with, with uh, Domri's Ambush next turn. So, that's good. And we find no land. Hmm. All right. So, this will put two counters on. So, Domri's Ambush... Target creature, kill him. Llanowar. Next, swing in for five. Down to 20 and evolution stage. Well, we played our entire hand <laughs> pretty quick there. Um, I wouldn't do that if I was playing against any other colors, but I don't think they have a board wipe in this deck. I'm pretty sure. All right, Murphy Branch Walker, Lava Coil. All right, keeps Lava Coil for the Incubation Druid, and we're trying to just find land so we can keep growing our guys. That's kind of the opposite of land. All right, we're just going to pass the turn. <laughs> uh oh, this is this is one issue with this deck is uh, we can't just play all of our stuff really quick and not hit ways to proliferate. So Evolution Sage is gone now. And Domri, Anarch, Anarch of Bolas. And we can at least slow them down for a while. They might swing with the Ranger here. Uh, because we're not going to block with Mawu. Alright, they don't. Alright, perfect. So now we get to Domri's Ambush again. Um, do we kill the Ranger or do we... Hmm. If we kill the Ranger, we can probably get in at, uh, at Domri a little bit easier. So... And I'm not terribly worried about their life, but at the same time, this can grow really big along the way. So I, let, let's go ahead and get rid of the walker. I think that is the best play. You always get rid of the walker. We could swing with Mawu and get rid of their entire board. Um, hmm. I feel like they, they clearly double block here, right? But I want to go after this Domri because Domri does get a lot worse. He can make him fight. Um, but then we're on top deck mode and just trying to see if we can win. All right, let's 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 no attacks. Uh, pass the turn. We would love to run into a Vivian Arc Bow. So I'm going to hold on to Llanowar because we'd like to discard that uh, with Vivian so we can find more creatures. Uh, and we might actually want to swing in with Mawu beforehand so then we can get another Mawu with the Arc Bow. So that'd probably be our best play. That or, uh, all right, there we go. That or uh, Finale of Devastation is pretty good. We had lots of mana beforehand. Now we're a little bit lower. Kranko, all right, Kranko's fun. All right, now we actually are okay with them trading off because then we get to go off with Kranko. So let's go ahead and swing in. They can block here in with Llanowar. Okay. So we get in more damage onto Domri that way. So we actually do get to kill Domri at least. Play our land or else. Uh, I was supposed to hold on to that for Vivian's Arc Bow, but that's fine. And uh, Exploration is almost unbeatable. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good card. All right, um, or a uh, thing. Let's, we get to trade off with Kankro and still grow, go wide. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play Mawu, and we're going to all attack. All right, 
kills a kills the Krinko. We have gone wide now, so now we're just trying to swing in and be able to finish out this game. Um, I did have one song of free release uh, that I was I was debating on putting in. Um, all right, we're gonna hold on to that just because we have other creatures we want to be putting it on. So just swing in for five, down to sixteen, past the turn. This could be a good way to block here as well. Okay, Merfolk Branchwalker. Explorers, what do they find? Another Branchwalker, okay. So they do get a counter, pass to my turn. Another land, huh? We can swing in and trade off pretty favorably here. Swing in. Whoever they block, we will Stony Strength. We're just trying to finish out this game as quick as we can because we kind of went all in and trading. Uh, so we're, we're trying to play the top deck mode. We know that they have another threat coming down. Uh, past the turn. Just trying to keep threats off the battlefield. Merfolk Branchwalker. Okay. Alright, so now uh, we can kill him by trading off with any one of these. It does slow down our clock quite a bit. Kills Alanor. Yep. Down to nine now. So we have a three turn clock. We can just hope that he never finds anything good again, but uh, we'll see. I kind of doubt it. Am I doing any jinx suggestions today? Yes, I will be. I'm, I'm recording this one for a video um, uh, for YouTube, and then I'm going to be doing uh, more janky stuff afterwards. Well, we're still in the game. We might actually be able to close it out too. We'll see. Lots of lands. Yes, we got him. All right, well, Poto probably drew way too many lands there, too, or just stuff they couldn't actually play. Uh, hello, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we're one and one so far with the deck, and that, that one was a little bit awkward, the way that we were playing there. I feel like we... Hmm, maybe we do need a few more creatures in the deck because we do have quite a few things that aren't creatures. Um... And maybe more ways that we can go find them. I, I feel like Vivian wouldn't be as good in this deck though because well, we had uh, Kranko turn turn two. I mean, and then a way to grow it. Yeah, that's not it's not bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think Vivian's arc bow is the right way to go with this deck. I, I don't think we want to go down any more ways to put counters on stuff. Uh, and Kranko can help us go wide, and that's what actually won us the game last time was Kranko. So. Yeah, it, it's Cranko is a good card, even with just one swing in. If it gets two, I think it's just game ending. Um, it's just so good. All right, Terramander. All right, let's see how good Cranko does here. We get Domri's Ambush, uh, which we still get to put a counter on our stuff, even if they give Hexproof to one of their creatures. Uh, so the only way they can stop it is a counter, uh, which we will have enough mana to pay for Spell Pierce here. So that's good. So Domri's Ambush on Krenko, target here. So Spell Purse doesn't work here. We have enough mana. We can get down Vivian's Arc Bow, maybe. They might like flash in a, a uh, Merfolk Trickster. So if they flash in a Merfolk Trickster, then we're going to play Vivian's Arc Bow. All right, swing in. Uh, yeah, not, not. we're gonna try for the arc bow, even if they have a spell pierce here. It just gives us so much value against mono blue that I wanna, want to at least try for it here. All right, there's a trickster, that's fine. So they, they waited until after we did everything else. We still got the counter, the trigger happened. They should have done it before we went to combat. Uh, so a misplay there by mono blue for sure. And Vivian's arc bow, and we are in great shape here now. Uh, we probably will go off with Vivian's Arc Bow for the next turn. Um, yeah, this is... I oh mean, Krinko's so good. I love the Krinko. All right, Ops. Uh, the only other thing that they can maybe have is a Bounce Spell here for the Krinko. But we're going to start... Like, if we get in for another swing, it's just game ending. So, loving this. Yeah, Brosif, 
Uh, Cranko is definitely my favorite card in Standard right now. I just every time I play it, I'm like, all right, it's it's just so good. It makes my day every time. All right, let's see what we find on top. If we have like a Maui or something like that, we're gonna play the Maui. But um, otherwise, Incubation Druid. We probably want to go digging for a Maui or an Evolution Sage. So maybe we go do it now. We can uh, we can discard Cranko mountain but we want to also make sure we can do it let's go ahead and just play our creatures this turn so incubation druid um we'll play land we still have something that we can um discard okay all attack hold back land or else uh we're just trying to go for as aggressive as we can they can't really block with terramander they can kill one goblin with trickster but we get in two more points of damage definitely worth it uh, the, the fact that Krenko gets a counter every time is so good. All right, down to 11. We have six tokens on the battlefield. And uh, we're going to pass the turn. We could go digging for like X3 here, but I don't think it's good enough. We need to make sure we're at least X4 because... Uh, and that's part of the reason that I like Vivian and Vivian's Arcbow in this is that we only need to do X4. There we go. Yeah, with that value out there, uh, they can't counter whenever we use Vivian's Arcbow either. So it's so good against that deck. And uh, yeah, there we go. Not too shabby at all. Hey, MTG Theorist, how are you? You made Hell Hydra? <laughs> awesome. Dude, it's such a good deck. Uh, this one I, I'm liking quite a bit. I think that it could probably be more fine-tuned uh, to be more competitive, but... I, I've been trying out Mauwu, and Mauwu is actually, I think, a solid card. I think it's more of like a one or two of in a deck that has counter synergies. Um, then, but we're trying to play it full on four copies here, and it's I, the deck is still good. I mean, we have Cranko, so it's great, you know. But <laughs> all right, Yangu, we might just go Vivian's Arcbow to try to make sure we can find more mana here or more creatures, more action. There we go. Actually, now we Rhythm of the Wild. And now we try to find creatures uh, that can get away from their shocks and lightning strikes. So that would be the best. Thinking maybe a Tetsuko Cranko deck. Ooh. Uh, with uh, You could also do the Cavalcade of Calamity. Uh, yeah, the Cavalcade of Calamity would be really good. If you were going Tetsuko and you probably just go Goblin Tribal type of thing a little bit. And just lots of goblins. I, tet, uh, Cavalcade of Calamity is just really good in general. Well, we would like to have a creature to play. So just Vivian's Arcbow, pass the turn. Uh, land isn't terrible because we can at least play, uh, go digging for four here. Okay, Pyromancer. And what we do is we can play this when they swing in so we can all of a sudden have a Mauwu that can block and chomp and kill or whatever, or something like that. Um, we don't have a really high toughness creatures, not a lot, so uh, but things do come in with a, with a counter. Down to 14. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, mono Red just getting in. We, we had way too slow of a hand for Mono Red. Um, it was definitely something you still keep. Like, we, we had a very keepable hand, but I'm not sure how good it was. Oh, uh, do we pay for this here? We need to go for four, right? All right, pass the turn. And we're just, we're gambling here. We're going to see how it goes. All right, swings in with everything. I mean, we're taking four no matter what. So Vivian's Arcbow. X4. Get rid of a uh, Yangu. We can kill something with Damri's Ambush on the next one. Like, the, what I'm hoping for is that we hit a Mawu here. Mawu, well, we hit, we hit a Mawu. Uh, with a counter. So it's a 5-5. Five, five. Block here. And just hope they don't have lightning strike or something to kill here. They probably are going to want to go face. Um, we have Domri's ambush to kill something else and then swing in. So they are going to go lightning strike our face. Boo. All right. Well, we can do the same thing again. Evolution Sage. Oh, we don't have enough mana. If we could Evolution Sage and Domri's ambush, we could survive here. Um, we can just hope that they don't have anything in hand. We can we can at least get this up to a, a four three so it can block and stay alive. 
We already know we put a Maui to the bottom. Krenko wouldn't do it. We'd, we'd have to hit an Evolution Sage. So let, let's go ahead and just play the Evolution Sage here with a counter. We can Domri's Ambush next turn maybe, but we're really close to just straight up dead. So we'll see how this goes. We shall see, we shall see. We just had a, kept a pretty slow hand for this deck. Do they swing in? And we could try to find a land of war elves. Um, we could try to find a land of war elves. No, I think that we just have to take two and hope they don't have a, a burn spell. We don't have any way of gaining life. I was debating on bringing in the explore package in this deck as well, which is probably best. Um, but I, I, we, we had just seen it so many times that I wanted to try other things. Uh, so we're kind of going more for ramp, which honestly, we probably have too much ramp in this deck now. All right, two and two so far. Let's see if we can get another win. We got to try to find a decent hand here to make it work. Hello from home. Beyond Memphis, you're, you're at home? You're not in an airport? What? Who are you? <laughs> uh, we're going to keep this. This is a pretty decent... Uh, we have Incubation Druid Stony, Drain, Stony Strength. Uh, so we have all the mana we could ever hope for. And uh, that's good. Ooh, we also have Cranko on turn three. We go Cranko. Definitely go Cranko because we can Incubation Druid and Stony Strength on the next turn. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. We can actually put a counter onto it with Yangu. If we find land, we can also Stony Strength. Um, thought erasure. Okay, well, I'm glad we got Cranko out because they definitely want to take in the Cranko here, and getting a few turns with that is what wins us games. So, a lot of things you have to worry about here. Evolution Sage is amazing, especially with Cranko. Yangu definitely puts counters on all of our stuff. Incubation Druid Stony Strength, we're probably going to get that out here. Actually, do we want to go uh, Evolution Sage? Okay, let's go Incubation Druid. Um, let's swing in with Krenko. Yeah, let's let just, just swing in with Krenko. We're going to Stony Strength. We'll see if they have a Cry of the Canarium. Uh, that does get Incubation Druid out of the way from that. Cry of the Canarium. Okay, so Stony Strength on Incubation Druid. So it survives. We have lots of mana now. Domri's Ambush. Let's play... Mawu. Swing in. Uh, fill up our board again. Uh, board wipe would be really annoying. Maybe I should have... Uh, maybe I should have held back. But we, we needed to get stuff out before we were... We, we don't have any more lands. This is a very big issue. Uh, so we're just hoping they just have targeted removal, something like that, instead of ways to answer all of this. Domri's Ambush would be great if we could actually... Uh, we don't have anything to target with it. Rhythm is interesting. All right, well, we get a, we're going to swing in. Down to five. Just our... They have to have Kaya's Wrath or we win. There we go. All right, so... Came down to whether or not they had Kai's Wrath there, and they did not, and there we go. It did work. We can just go fast enough and sometimes win. So we are three and two now, and here we go again. I feel like this deck has a lot of synergies. Um, I think that we need to find ways that it can draw more cards. Vivian would help accomplish that. I'm not sure if it's better than... like the, We have three copies of Jing Yangu, and I've... It works so well when it works. We just haven't had it work that well this game. Or these games here. Uh, we're we're going to keep this. We have Evolution Sage with counters. Um, we can draw into Ramp. There we go. So they have Llanowar. So I have three copies of this Llanowar, but it's not four. So I, I never play it because I only have three. <laughs> so it's a little bit awkward. Um, Incubation Druid. Pass the turn. We can Stony Strength, Evolution Sage, play a uh, Forest, um, and Proliferate. So no blocks. And then we can Carnage here in the next turn, which is uh, not a bad plan. If this survives, we're in pretty good shape. 
All right, so this is the Molder Hulk deck. So uh, Mao is going to be important uh, just because it's the one thing that can get bigger than our Molder Hulk, than their Molder Hulk. Eternal Taskmaster. Okay. So add mana, green, stony strength, untap him, put a counter on, evolution sage. Oh man, we almost have enough mana to do more stuff. Putting an extra counter onto Incubation Druid. Maybe we should have just played Mawu. Um, now we just have, we have so much mana now. We have Carnage Tyrant. If we have any other ways to give counters, we can play the land too. Um, and we still are growing here. It's official. Krinko is your favorite card. Yeah, Krinko, Krinko is so fun. All right, we're taking lots of damage. Yeah, we're going to have to take all of it here. This is very aggressive. Down to 11. Getting down to Carnage Tyrant will help this turn. Uh, they can go very wide, though. We might actually need to start blocking with Evolution Sage. Maybe I should have then. Cranko. Cranko and Mawu. And then, that way we can have uh, Incubation Druid as a blocker. Oh, no, we can't because we have to tap down for Mawu. But Mawu is a decent blocker. We can't block the Golgari Fine Broker with anything. Um, hmm. And I feel like if we play Carnage Tyrant, they're going to want to go more aggressive here. If they kill Incubation Druid, we don't have a chance of doing this again. So let's go ahead and Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, submit one. Um, no attacks past the turn. So, hey, J. Cole, how are you? Dude, I'm doing so good. It's Thursday, and I'm feeling great. Life is good. Um, and we're going to see if we cannot die here. Uh, man, it's this is going to be a little bit rough. We're, we're still going to take lots of damage. We have to trade off pretty aggressively. Kills incubation druid or evolution sage to stop blockers. I would probably just go aggressive and get rid of get rid of the blocker here. That would probably be my play there. Um, but that is annoying. We're gonna have to deal with it along the way. Um Krenko's just not good enough here. Do we hold on to land until we know we can get counters onto stuff? Or do we play it so we can play more things? I, I guess we hold on to it for now. Uh, man, we can't let this keep going off. Do we try to trade off? Uh, they don't have enough to grow the growth chamber guardian, so we can swing in. They block and block here, and we can kill Veraska. And then uh, that gets rid of a lot of their board, but then growth chamber guardian goes off. Um, I just don't think we can we can survive through Veraska keep uh, growing and growing and growing. All right, let, let's, let's go ahead and swing in. We trade off our Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, I'm guessing they block. They can block here. Uh, they can maybe block Eternal with Taskmaster in here. They can get stuff back. Return target creature from Graveyard. It's pretty good. All right, so we don't kill Veraska. We get to kill three uh, three things, and I actually prefer that. So we do have enough to kill all of them. So, I mean... And that's the ways to get stuff back from the Graveyard. They will have... Um, Find Broker again, but pass the turn. Let's play some paper and watch your stream. Awesome. Sounds fun. Let me check out that deck, Devin. I'm not full control. Uh, so let's see, how do we have a shot here? All right, Glow Spore Shaman, they can adapt here. Our Sage is our best way of having a chance here. Taking seven damage is so much, though. Yeah, we, we just have to block. We could grow Mao to be very big. Um, we're, we're just too low on life at the point at this point. Vraska with uh, the Stitcher, super good. 
As long as they keep getting Molder Hulks, I, I guess they can actually play Fine Broker, grab the Molder Hulk. They can't play it this turn. Next turn they can, though. So they're going to have a... How big is it again? It's going to be a big guy. Cranko, Stomping Ground. Yeah, I don't think we can come back from this one. No attacks. Smolder Hulk will come down next turn. Fine Broker. Uh, they will still have enough mana to uh, Growth Chamber Guardian as well. Yeah. I mean, we traded off with three creatures with with uh, Carnage Giant. Yeah, and that's that's just game. But we'll we'll play this one out because it's the last game. Um, we went three and three with the deck, and I feel like it's. We can maybe uh, tweak it a little bit to make sure that we're more consistent. Uh, we have some really fun things we can do with the deck, and that was the whole point. Is uh, we like to do fun things. Swings in. I don't know why you wouldn't be swinging in there. Stony Strength actually pretty good here. We can swing. If they double block, we're we're dead. Man. Vraska just kills our Mawu the next turn. We can Stony Strength play another Mawu. Get rid of one thing. This can't kill it here. Um, I guess we just pass the turn. You gotta go, Kyle. No, thanks for thanks for jumping on. I appreciate it. All right. Um. The finest mind is definitely beating us here. Uh, our, our biggest hope is that he just keeps going slow. All right, so does destroy there. Yeah, and that's game. We, our, our best hope was that they would tick up, but even then we were, we were in trouble. Uh, so it, pretty rough. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got we went three and three, um, which I feel like I do pretty often with my decks, where I I at least build decks that are 50 and 50. Uh, but there's definitely things we can maybe change to make it better. Uh, what you probably do is you go down a couple Mawu, add like uh, Gruel spell breakers, maybe go down one Rhythm of the Wild, um, and kind of use Evolution Sage that way. I still think that Stony Strength Incubation Druid, or actually Domri's Ambush, I've actually been really impressed with with Incubation Druid. Uh, there's just some really fun stuff we can do here with this deck. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much and bye-bye.